Okay, so now we're going to do a great, great, great exercise, which is going to do a task that happens fast, but we're going to do it slow and completely deconstructed in what it's important. So in this case, there's two things that are extremely important, and it's going to be what happens outside the eye with your hands and your hand positioning, and what is happening in that incision. Okay, so for the hands and to have the hands correctly. Let's talk, let's put the hands big, please. Let's talk about the hands big, I, I like it. This is gonna be your fixation point. If you can, if you need to do it temporarily, again, you're gonna have a similar approach with a fixation point. It's extremely important to have a correct incision. After I have my, my fixation point that I repeat, Three fingernails, only the fingernails touching. Look at my wrist. It's vertical, not horizontal, vertical. Then the crab claw comes. So I'm going to grab the instrument, one third and two thirds, and look how I'm grabbing it. 180 degrees, because this is the movement I want. And I really need for you to be very strong in these muscles and to grab it like a claw, like a crab claw, not this. This is incorrect. This is incorrect. You lose the movement. And this is incorrect too. You lose the movement, meaning that everything is touching the. Okay, so <coughs> fixation point and where to grab it. And now there you go. Amazing. And here you're going to see everything that's going to happen from the outside. Look at that screen. The blade is completely horizontal to the floor. For that, we're gonna tell you what to do in the other uh, camera now. You're gonna aim to the center of the eye, to the center of the eye. And you're gonna be very aware that the movement goes in and goes out in the same, um, in the same way. You, you don't want to charge yourself in the size of the incision, okay? In my opinion, what I like, sometimes I really like to have this first plane right here. And then we're going to start. And you're going to look at my hands. Look, this is the way it looks like in the correct incision. Uh, 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 and out. Okay, let's do it again. Because it's important for you to see it perfectly only in your hands. First plane, second plane, I enter and I go in and out, okay? That's exactly what I want you to have in mind because sometimes you're used to see the YouTube video and you're not aware of that. Now, let's do it with a picture in picture. There you go. And now, what you saw in your hands, you're gonna see happening inside the eye. And look again. I have my correct hand positioning and the reflex of the blade is going to be a guide to me and it's going to be completely homogeneous. This is incorrect and this is incorrect. This is a perfect reflex of the blade, okay? So by aiming to the center of the eye, look, first plane, look at my hands too, second plane and then a vertical leg again and in and out so this if, if you do this in and if you do this or that that's incorrect what you really need to be aware of if you aim to the center of the eye and as as you go in you go out in the same way you see there is many many elements that compone a correct incision. I'm gonna do it fast again. So I want you to have first plane right here at the limbus. Then to have a homogeneous reflex of the blade. Enter, verticalize, horizontalize again, in and out. And the other important thing is if you struggle with the resistance, instead of pushing and pushing and pushing and 
giving a lot of strength here, the correct movement to do is this. Look, when you're entering and you have a lot of resistance, bam, bam, this is the movement to do. Okay, look at my hand. Look at my hand. Okay, it's exactly the movement of pivoting. So you're not pressing and putting too much strength. That's the correct way to do an incision. 